I'd like to start this video with a quote and that is that you cannot change your reality unless and until you change your mentality. So you can try to manifest your dream life as much as you want. You can try to sit and literally visualize yourself having that dream life as much as you want. But if somewhere deep down in your mind or in your soul, you don't believe that you're capable of achieving these things and you will never ever actually have that thing in your real life. And that is why in this video I share with you exactly why you need to change your mentality first and from changing your mentality, how your reality will actually shift. So with that in mind, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, let's understand why a mindset is so important and why does mindset even matter when you're trying to create a new reality or a new version of ourselves. And that is because our mindset is made up of nothing but our thoughts. The thoughts that you think on a daily basis about yourself is what your mindset essentially is. So if you have thoughts which are very negative, right? If you have thoughts like, I am not capable enough, I can't achieve these things, I can't do it. And you know, if you're giving an interview and right before the interview telling yourself that this is too difficult for me, then guess what? When you sit on that interview, because of your thoughts, your behaviors are formed, okay? And because of your behavior, your results are formed. So when you're thinking thoughts like, I can't do this interview, I can't do this job, or I can't talk to this person, whatever it is that you have in your head, you will behave in a certain manner. And because you behave in an underconfident manner or in an anxious manner, or in a manner where you feel like you're not really respecting yourself, because of that behavior, you will have your results. Because people will see that you're not operating from a confident energy and they will be like we can't select you or you will try to go for this interview and you'll think thoughts like I can't do it I'm not enough and even if you've practiced your literally your ass off for that interview you will still not get it because your behavior is simply not aligning with what you want and because your behavior is not aligning your results are not coming and how did all of this start it all started from the way you think about yourself it started from your mindset and it started from your self-image. So does that mean that all of us are doomed if we have a negative self-image, if we are anxious a lot, if we don't think that we're capable, does that mean that our reality can never change? Well, the good news is not. Your mind actually reforms itself. The neural pathways in your mind actually reform themselves every 21 days. You literally have a new mind, a new neural pathway every 21 days. But how are these new neural pathways formed? These new neural pathways are actually formed by our thoughts about ourselves. So if you're practicing thinking the feeling of lack over and over again, month after month, then that becomes a part of our personality. And that is why, because you've practiced feeling underconfident or feeling like a failure or anything that anyone's feeling right now, I know I have felt so many of these things for such a long time, I still go through it and because I practice feeling like this over and over again, it becomes a part of my personality. And even now, even if it's a part of my personality, I still have a choice to change that. I still have a choice to choose differently. All I have to do is I have to learn the exact steps that I can implement on a daily basis. Literally every single time I get a negative thought, I can implement these steps and I can form a completely new confident personality. And all of this, by the way, is scientifically proven because scientifically, you know how a machine operates? A brain is pretty much like a machine. 95% of our brain is operating like a machine. So if you just crack the code of getting into the 95% and if we wire that machine in a successful manner, in a success achieving manner, and 95% of our brain is on our side. And do you think when 95% of our brain is supporting us, when 95% of our being feels like we are capable, we can do things, we can get things done, do you think when we have that level of power from within, we won't be able to get our goals? We won't be able to change our reality? Of course not. We then become more powerful than ever to change anything in our life. Step number one would be to audit your current mentality. Before you even try to rewire the machine that you're trying to rewire right now, you have to understand what your brain or what your thoughts are essentially comprised of, 
right if i get to know that what 95 percent of my brain is looking like right now i can then change the thoughts that i don't like i can change the beliefs that i don't like but for that i first need to understand exactly what is going on and exactly what is wrong right now with my brain and here's an interesting fact 90 percent of the current beliefs that you have about yourself you haven't even picked those beliefs yourself these beliefs have been picked from so many things that have happened in your past because these things happened you made that thing a reason to have the belief that you currently have about yourself so those reasons are very simple okay and i'm going to run through those reasons and when i run through these reasons or when i run through these things from where your beliefs have acquired you really want to scan your brain and see do i have some negative beliefs from these past experiences and if so please guys just take a notebook and just like jot down all those beliefs that you think you've picked up from these experiences okay the first experience will be the beliefs that you've picked up from past failures I know I had this belief so I was studying for this exam which was known as the GMAT exam and I really wanted to get into a good college which I did actually I got into a good college but I didn't get it through GMAT but anyways so I was studying for this exam right and I put this exam on a pedestal so I studied for that test I prepared for that test I was getting good scores on my mock test I was getting good scores on my practice test I took my last practice test before the exam I think it was a week ago and I got a 720 out of 800 so I was like I'm pretty confident that I can crack this test now and I booked my slot I booked the slot a week later from my practice exam so you know that weird time when you your slot is booked and you have all this time where you just have to wait for your exam and you're just revising all the stuff that you learned previously I was doing that so I'm doing that on the last day I'm feeling a little nervous because this test is gonna be the thing that will make me go to my dream college or whatever so I was a little nervous and then finally I just calmed myself down I was like I'm gonna perform fine it's fine it's okay calm down you can do it the next day came I was in the room I locked my room I opened my laptop and yeah and, and the test started the moment she said start that moment itself i was literally something came in me and my heart started pounding really 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 badly like i was like my heart was i was going through through a low-key panic attack and i was like shaking shivering sweating because i pushed that test on such a pedestal so obviously i gave that test and i was literally not even able to complete my math section i barely skimmed through my english section and the test ended and the scores come right after your test ends and i got such a bad score and i was like what the hell like i studied so hard for it and this is the score that i get and that experience i took that experience like a failure for me and from that failure i made some beliefs about who i am i made the belief that i can't perform under pressure i made the belief that i no longer have the capacity in me to just calm down i made the belief that i panic really fast and i was carrying these beliefs for a very long time with me i gave the second test i gave the third test and the same pattern repeated over and over and over again until it got so bad that i could not take the test anymore because i was just not able to perform so thankfully i applied in ucl without the entrance thing and i got in so that was very nice i'm very grateful and not just that that belief that i can't perform became so strong that i gave an interview after that and me as someone who's good with interviews i was not able to perform in the interview either and it was such a bad cycle that i was in and I, I didn't know what to do i didn't know how to get this belief off of me i was like now this is who i am this is how my mindset is i just can't perform under pressure i just can't give interviews anymore i just can't do this i just can't do that and i made all these beliefs and i attached such level of truth to these beliefs that this is what my personality started to become and it got so bad for some time i was like i can't even talk to people <laughs> like i was like if i know you and i've like met you two three times i can talk to you but if you're a completely new person in my life i don't know if i can talk to you and i started to internalize that belief of i can't do it so much that was really stopping me right and that is when i had to recognize that this is just a past experience it is simply a past failure and this thing does not define me this thing cannot stop me and that is when actual magic starts to happen because that is when your brain is like okay so you don't want this experience so what do you want instead and that's when you choose differently which we'll do in the next step so like that 
think of all those past failures that you're really holding on to that are really stopping you from becoming the best version of yourself right the second thing that you'll think about will be all the lessons that you've learned or that you've internalized from your upbringing if your parents said something to you if your mom said something to you if your mom didn't give you the love that you deserved if your dad didn't give you the love that you deserved i'm getting a little deep here but i just want you guys to really think about and really really dig deep and find all these subconscious blocks that are currently stopping you okay so think of all these things as well the third thing that you'll think about will be all the patterns that you absorbed from your family from your culture and from your society your maybe your family has this particular pattern of criticizing everything or criticizing themselves and you absorbed that pattern maybe your family has this pattern of never feeling like they're good enough and you've been always told that you're never good enough okay if any of these patterns have come up in your life and recognize these patterns and genuinely write about these things play some interesting music in the background sit with yourself and really journal about each and everything that is currently stopping you okay now once you've done that the next time such a feeling comes to you like maybe if i am doing this exercise and i'm like okay i have this belief that i can't perform under pressure now if i have to go for an interview and i get this feeling i can't perform i can't do it that moment itself i have to recognize that this thought is not mine this feeling this belief is not mine it is simply a belief that i have from a past experience and i can form this distance between myself and that belief that i have so i like to visualize these beliefs like clouds in the sky and i'm standing and the sky is my head basically and the cloud comes so now i can see that that belief is not mine that belief is a cloud far away from me and that cloud can just pass me by and it will not stop me and that is what you have to do each time you get this negative thought again this negative feeling again this limiting mindset again you have to say that this thought is not mine this feeling is not mine this belief is not mine and i can simply let this thing pass and one thing or one tool that really helps you to do this on a regular basis will be meditation right i'm making a meditation for my clients and in that i'm making like literally a cloud meditation where you sit and you see the cloud passing you by so that you can see your limiting beliefs passing you by so once you do that that is when you start to feel a lot more calm you start to feel a lot more in control but that is not enough right you have just made peace with the fact that these thoughts are not yours but what do you do after that well after that you choose the new thought the new feeling that you do wish to feel so if i'm right now and i'm like i can't perform under pressure that's a negative thought and i can recognize right now that this is a negative thought and i let that thought pass me by but what do i wish to feel after this and that is what i have to choose now and there's this very nice book which is known as cyber psychonetics you can check this book out it talks about this technique which is known as positive visualization or maybe a mental training exercise where you really practice in training in your mind a new picture about yourself that you really do wish to have so say for example if i want to feel confident if i want to feel in control when there's a timer ticking in my face then i can just sit down close my eyes and like visualize a situation where i am going to give an interview and then visualize myself being confident in that interview the more i can visualize myself doing that over and over and over again like i'm looping that scene over and over again the more my brain will start to form neural pathways to actually help me achieve that goal and this book talks about this thing which is known as a goal striving mechanism where it says that our brain actually likes to strive towards goals we just haven't given our brain the right goals we give our brain the wrong goals we give our brain goals like i am going to fail in this interview i'm going to do this in the interview so your brain is like okay and that's when you get nervous but if you give your brain a good goal like i can do this interview i'm excited for this interview i am i'm like so 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 and in my control for this interview for this job or for anything that you're trying to get towards that's when your brain is like okay like a brain is not sentimental it's not emotional it'll just say yes to whatever you strive towards so you have to sit down and choose a different belief and start practicing that new belief in your mind over and over and over again until it starts to become true okay and also if you get the negative thought you like this is not my thought even after that you have to practice the new thought that you do wish to feel the new feeling that you do wish to feel so if i wish to feel more excited more confident more happy whatever it is i will say that even if the situation right now is showing me that it's not good 
but I want to choose differently. I will say that I am happy, I am content, I am calm, I am okay. And the more you practice feeling like that over and over again, the more and more and more your brain starts to work for you as opposed to working against you. Now, if you're someone who's struggling to recognize exactly what beliefs or what thoughts or what feelings are stopping you from becoming that best version of yourself, then you might really get some value from a one-on-one -on -one call with me, where I will break down exactly the problems that you have, the beliefs that you might be holding, and exactly what you can do to get over those beliefs. So if you want that free call, you can put your details in the description box below, and I will reach out to you very, very soon, and we can work together to form a new personality and a new brain for yourself and of course if you're interested in content like this then you can definitely hit the subscribe button down below and join this amazing fam that we have because in this channel or in this community or in this corner of youtube we are all about improving ourselves and becoming the best version of ourselves and living our best ever life possible so if you're interested in that then you can Hit the subscribe button down below and I'll be very very happy to have you inside the fam. And thank you so much you guys for watching this video. And hopefully I will see you on my next one.